What's up guys, we are back with another review, but we're not taking a look at a figure today. We're taking a look at a bunch of accessories. We have got two sets of accessory packs from Super Action Stuff. So these folks uh, were kind enough to reach out to see if I wanted to take a look at them. And of course I said yes, because I'm familiar with their product because I did a review years back for their food-based accessories. And they pop up in my videos from time to time. Any, anytime you see anybody holding a beer stein, it's from them. Uh, so I kind of was very excited about these. So there is the Bag of Violence set, which is a bunch of weapons, and then a lot of blood splatter effects and some ricochet effects. And then the Firepower set, which has uh, some bullets, you've got some energy projectiles, you've got fist effects, you've got an electricity blast, uh, the whole nine yards really. And they come on these little blister card packaging. There's not a whole lot to show as far as packaging goes, but we've got two sets to talk about. And we've actually got a bit of a third bonus because they threw in this uh, recolor set of the food pack that they did years back. So this is the same stuff that I've looked at before, but in a new colorway, which is pretty exciting because I'm all about getting another one of, one of those beer mugs. So yeah, we've got a lot of little things to talk about today, but I'm really excited to see what I can do with some of this stuff. So let's pull this all out and take a look. So we're gonna run through these one at a time, uh, just to give you an idea of what's included in each set. We're gonna start with the violence pack, but the name of the game for these with me, honestly, is convenience. I have third party and custom uh, effect pieces and accessories, but being able to just go and buy a $20 set is obviously really enticing, just in a general sense. So this thing offers a lot of value just for someone who maybe wants to have a bunch of extra stuff. And this kind of, uh, this kind of ha hits all the high points. There's, there's blood, there's weapons, there's effect pieces, there's uh, gunshot blasts, things like that. So as far as the actual weaponry goes, you know, this is the violence set, so it does include weaponry. So you've got uh, this spiked bat here, which I actually really like. This is probably my favorite accessory in the entire thing, just because it's a little bit more unique. Well, the crowbar is pretty unique too, but this is pretty unique just in terms of being able to use this with a bunch of figures. So you've got a really nicely sculpted wooden bat with some, uh, you know, nails, spikes sticking out of it. So this, of course, you know, all of this is 112 scale. So you're going to be able to use this with Legends or with Black Series or whatever, anything really. You've got a crowbar. So this is just, you know, your kind of standard crowbar red handle with silver accents for uh, both sides of it. So the hook and then the pry bar at the bottom. We've got a axe here, so this is very much similar to the baseball bat in terms of the design with the wooden handle on it, but it's got, you know, very like fireman's axe kind of look with the red and then the silver accents on the blade. Nice metallic paint on all of this too, so it's not like super shiny, but it does have some luster to it. And then you've got a standard aluminum baseball bat with a black handle, and then you've got the actual silver part of the bat itself. So you do get these four uh, the four accessories here, and again, you can use these uh, with your with your Black Series, with your Marvel Legends, with your NECA stuff, with your Power Rangers, whatever figures you need to to throw these in. You know, put these in some some plunderlings and let them run wild across your display, stuff like that. Now. These are the accessories. There are, of course, a lot of effect parts with this set, uh, just in a general sense. So we've got two that are uh, things that would go over a figure's hand. So you've got this guy here, and this is like a slashing effect. So kind of like something that you might put onto like a Black Panther hand or something like that, where they're swiping with clawed hands. So you can see it's, it's clear, and then it's got, you know, an effect of it like moving. So it looks like it'll add a little bit of motion to the figure that you're using it with. And then you've also got a fireball type of effect, or like a uh, like a charged up punch type of effect. So you slide your hand in there and then you've got like sort of just an impact burst for this guy, uh, which I do really like. I'm very happy with this effect in general. I feel like I'm going to be able to use this with figure arts and stuff like that for figures that for better or worse, still don't come with effect parts in, in that line. Uh, we've got a number of blood and gun effects here, and this is where you'll need some extra stuff. So you're gonna need like sticky tack to use some of this stuff, not all of it necessarily, but some of it. The first of which we've got ricochet effects. So these are of course bullet trails, which are all translucent red, and then they've got the impact burst at the tip, but these are ball jointed. So the actual, um, gun burst here is on a ball peg so it pegs into this guy so you could take them apart if you wanted to and then you can just have sort of an impact piece here which i really do like so you've got a short one and sort of a small one at that and then you've got a bigger one which has a much larger effect so you know obviously this is the first thing that comes to mind for me is black series to use these with like stormtroopers or something like that and then you've got a whole bunch of blood so you've got i mean they're just various types of blood spray so you've got like you know this one here which is just sort of going all over the place use this one 
for like maybe somebody's being slashed with like Wolverine's claws. You've got this guy, which is just sort of a big blood splatter. And these all feel really good. They're they're rigid, but like not fragile rigid, if that makes sense. So I'm really happy with the overall build quality on these. And again, you are going to need, at least for most of these, some sort of sticky tack just to apply them to your figures because they don't really attach to anything. They're for general use. You've got this one, sort of like a big blood spray. And then we've got these two little ones, which I really like. So you can, you know, if someone's getting hit by a bullet or something like that, you know, a little like a squirt of blood that's coming out one side or the other, which is really cool. It adds a bit of uh, adds a bit of direction towards you, towards your attack and how it's being handled. And then you've got this guy here, which you can almost kind of clip this onto something to showcase just blood splattering all over the place. Of course, you know, you can use these to set a scene or someone's bleeding out on your on your display. And then you've got these two little guys here, uh, which are again something that you're going to want to use sticky tack with but with like you know kind of like a blood spray so this is like a big bubbler almost and then you've got this little guy here which is just a squirt of blood going in various directions so you've got a lot of literally violent type of accessories when it comes to this i'm really really excited to use these blood effects because i don't really have a lot of stuff like that personally up until now and then these are just really nice they look really good the ball peg was an incredibly nice surprise because you can add a little bit of flair to where the impact is coming from just to change it up a bit so they're not dead on and then it's always nice to get extra weapons so stuff like this more generic stuff that can be used with anything and it you know it's nice that they are sculpted and painted really well to boot and then for the final firepower set. This is a little bit of a crossover with the violence set because they do share some parts. You know, there's no no expectation that everybody's buying both. So you get some of like the more the more important accessories that can cross over here. So you've got the, the the sort of fire punch effect and the slashing effect. Again, these are the same pieces, but these are done up in red plastic. So these are actually my preference right now when it comes to the two, just because I feel like I can use these with figure arts with DBZ stuff really well, uh, just to add a little bit more color. And then you've got the clear ones if you just want to add sort of like an actual air type slashing effect. And then you've got the ricochet or the impact effects, but these are done up in yellow this time. So you've got the larger one and you've got the smaller one. Uh, still something that you're going to want to use some sticky tack with to apply them onto your figure, your victim of choice. And then there's a bunch of other stuff here that is unique to this set. So we've got a rocket this time around. Uh, this has two parts and you're going to have to figure out a way to, you know, hide the, hide how this is being held up in the air or use it, uh, use it a little bit more creatively because it has no stand or anything like that. And it's got a two part effect. So you've got the actual effect piece, which you might be able to utilize somehow on its own. And then you've also got the rocket piece as well. So it's just sort of a gener generic rocket as if someone were shooting it towards an enemy. We've got this guy here, which is kind of an interesting one. So it's kind of like a, uh, it's like a smoke bomb effect. So you can see it's got a trail off of it where it's been thrown and then you pop it on the ground and then it, it's starting to explode as if it were to uh, be, you know, giving off all of the smoke. It's got a little bit of a, a dry brushing on it to bring out some of those smoky details. It's kind of a light gray on top of all this white here. And then we've got a, a big electricity effect, which is done up in yellow plastic. So like a big crackle effect, which I'm really excited to try to figure out how to use with someone like Storm or again, more Dragon Ball figure art stuff because like this is the kind of stuff that I would love to use with use with that. So this is kind of a crazy wild effect, and it feels very similar to the blood stuff from the uh, from the violence set. More of that uh, same kind of build quality. And then we've got a bunch of actual firepower effects. So that's the name of the game with this set. And these are all uh, done up in orange translucent plastic. So you've got this guy here, and you've got uh, you've got a couple of each. So we've got two that are the same, but they have different connections. This one has a peg on it, so peg into a gun that has a peg hole on it. And then this one has a hole in the effect to be used on guns that have, you know, an exposed uh, exposed barrel. So you can actually peg it over top of that. Then you've got another one that has the, uh, you've got two of each of those really. So you've got those, and then you've got two small ones which uh, do not have pegs on them. So these are just the same, but smaller. And these have peg holes to allow you to put them on guns that have, have the exposed barrels. And then we've got two actual uh, bullet traveling effects. So you've got a short one, and they're done up in orange translucent plastic. They have holes on the back to pop them onto the end of a gun. 
and then you, uh, you've you got some white paint with an actual bullet at the end, so you can actually see the bullet being fired, which I really, really like. Uh, these are really cool. I've, I've seen folks, you know, use, uh, use like, what, Marvel Legends packaging to make a bullet trail, and then they've got sort of like a little bullet effect on the end. This is just the whole, whole thing on its own. Of course, one is kind of small, and one's a little bit larger, but I can see myself using those with, uh, like, Black Widow, or any, uh, any figures that need, need actual bullets that are being fired out of their guns. The first thing that comes to mind is to use those with that gray suit Black Widow. But this, this set is really, really cool. I'm in particular really happy with these effects. I mean, they were great in the, uh, in the other set as well, but the, these being colored, uh, really does kind of amp me up a little bit to utilize those with other figures. And then of course, to have some nice energy effects for guns is always really nice, but these bullet effects are really cool. They're just unique and they're a little bit different and I'm sure I can make good use out of those. And then lastly, we've got the food set. And like I said, I've talked about these before, but they were different. Uh, these are, well, most of them anyway, are different colorways. So to start with, you've got your pizza box. And this thing is kind of like a bendy, rubbery plastic. It's not super bendy, but it's also not rigid either. You just got kind of a generic pizza box. We've got a, uh, a beer bottle. This one's just done up a green with a little uh, silver accent on it. And of course, these are these are very well scaled for 112 figures. I have used that first set for a number of years now. I mean, there's a good chance that anything that's food related in any other video I've ever done uh, is this set, just different colors. You've got a, uh, a can. This is like an energy can or like an energy drink or a beer can, depending on how you want to use it. One of my favorite accessories from that first set, though, is back with the sort of beer stein. It's kind of cartoony looking, which I really like. That first one is like Simpsons cartoony almost based on its design, but this one's done up with gold. And uh, I use that way, almost almost too much, honestly. You've got the uh, the big turkey leg, which looks really good. We've got the big, uh, the big like whiskey bottle. The other one was orange and actually said whiskey on it, I think. This one does not. You've got a soda bottle. I think the last one was a water bottle. So this is like a soda bottle this time around. You've got your uh, chimichanga here. We've got an ice cream cone. We've got a donut. You've got a mobile phone, so this looks like kind of like an iPhone. Uh, we've got a burrito. You've got your hot dog. We've got the banana. A can of soda, if that's what this is right time. Let's see what this says on there. Yeah, so it's a uh, it's a pop. So it's a, it's, a, it's a soda, you've got your taco, and then we've got the always needed actual slice of pizza. And these are all, again, they're the same same sculpts. If you've got that first set from a few years back, I mean, I know folks uh, have those have those accessories pop up in their photos from time to time. So this is just more of the same. And I was a really big fan of that. I still continue to use a lot of that. So it's nice to be able to get more because I've always wanted to have somebody else with one of these just to do pictures with figures, you know, cheers in each other or whatever. So I don't have to use something different. I can have two folks with beer steins now. So I'm really happy with the way uh, that this set turned out just because of the fact that it's all really good stuff that I'm familiar with, just done up differently enough so that it's not two of the exact same thing in my pictures. So yeah, this is a pretty solid set of stuff. I mean, obviously these are three different sets, but when it comes down to it, like I said, a lot of this is really just convenience. You could go all over the place to try and get some of this stuff from customizers or various third parties, but this is a lot of stuff that you can easily get and start figuring out how you want to do stuff with, with uh, effect pieces and how you want to set a scene with some of this stuff. You know, folks that are better at toy photography than I am, well, We'll obviously be able to make better use of this kind of stuff, but I'm happy to be able to get some of these more uh, more specific accessories like the ricochet effects and like the bullets and of course the blood, because you're not going to get blood in a Marvel Legends set. Uh, stuff like that isn't exactly going to come from your big toy maker. So it's really cool to be able to easily get those for a relatively cheap price. I mean, we're talking 20, 25 bucks for this stuff here for upwards of 20 pieces of plastic, which I think is a pretty solid deal. So that's going to do it for this look at the super accurate stuff 112 accessory sets let me know what you guys think feel free to like comment subscribe and share and until next time